Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a, a quick example from the actual um, examples uh, from the Flowgarden website that you can actually get the book on the Flowgarden website. So let me show you the book. Um, if you go to the Flowgarden and uh, resources and if you click on Flowgarden ebook Okay, you got uh, the portable version here that you can download, but what I'm interested in this uh, book that in that is in Italian, but if you can just download the textbook and go through the examples, even though it's in Italian, uh, many of them are actually translated into English too. Okay, so if you go down, you see lots and lots of examples here. So those examples don't have any explanations, but uh, they just have the shapes, um, outputs, for example. I want to do this, uh, where is it, uh, SAMO, okay, calculations, SAMO numbers, two numbers, okay. So you will just see um, the shape screenshot. I'm gonna explain it by using my algorithm uh, way uh, first we're gonna create the algorithm for it and then for each example we will do the same first write down the algorithm what to do and then translate into full algorithm so there are two examples that we're gonna do in this short video uh, the first one is the sum of two integer numbers and this is how it's gonna work we're gonna ask the user to answer the first number and then save it to a variable suppose that uh, would be first number first number and then ask for the second number and then save it into a, another variable second number and by the way we are limiting those number types to integer okay in this example but it could be anything it could be real too and now we're going to calculate it and then uh, save the result into a sum variable and then print the sum on the screen so let's do that first we're going to ask for the first number please enter the first number for first number okay and then click on that and for that we, uh, we will need the variable named first number and it's going to be an integer Okay, and then read it from the keyboard and save it into the first number variable. Now I got the first number and we'll do the same for the second number. Okay, ask the question first. Tell what to do, I'm sorry, tell what to do to the user, right? So enter please, uh, enter the second number okay and then we're gonna use the input so we need that declaration second number and be careful with the naming you see that i'm using the camel case it starts with a small s and then uh, the letter n is capital okay and then uh, read it from the keyboard and save it to the second number variable second number okay and then create another variable to save the calculated sum of these two numbers okay so I need the third declaration here sum and it's gonna be integer plus integer is another integer so here I'm gonna use this new variable sum to make the calculations sum is equal to first number plus second number okay and then the last thing to do is print the uh, results on the screen okay so it's going to be an output and i will simply say sum of all ampersand first number ampersand 
a space and a space ampersand second number ampersand space is ampersand sum so it's gonna say at the end for example I enter two and four sum of two and four is six that's what it's supposed to type okay so let me go through enter the first number save it into the first number uh, variable enter the second number save it into the second variable that I created right here with the declaration and then create another uh, variable to say the result of first number plus second number and then at the end print out the results okay save it and run it please enter the first number five please enter the second number as you see uh, the location on in uh, on the flow chart on the flow rhythm chart here is highlighted right it's asking for the second number the second number is gonna be six and the result sum of five and six is eleven okay and another one let's do negatives remember that you're gonna test your uh, application with all possible data uh, values that you have in mind negative two plus eight should be six right so sum of negative two and eight is six and i wonder if it's going to work with zero please answer the first number eight or 99 plus zero is 99 so it does work uh let me save this as my sum of two numbers uh one and then I'm gonna do the second one here now as you see here I use the sum variable to say the result of the calculation right but there's a shortcut if you remember that output uh, shape is actually capable of evaluating expressions in it right so I can take advantage of it instead of using a third variable and waste memory I could actually use this output shape uh, to make the calculation and print out the results so all I have to do is actually get rid of this sum variable I'm not gonna use it get rid of this calculation I'm not gonna use it and modify the sum here instead of the sum variable I will just open and uh, a parenthesis and do first number plus second number so output shape will calculate a first number plus second number and then print out it on the display let's see if that is the case I'm doing the second one without using the third variable sum no sum variable anymore we're not uh, you know uh, using another variable save the space please enter the first number five the second number is 9 it's supposed to be 14 there you go so I, I see that with the parenthesis uh, uh, by putting the parenthesis you're actually telling that the output shape uh, telling the output shape that you are actually going into some sort of calculation and expression you're writing down and it's supposed to do the calculation and let's test it with the negative numbers negative 5 plus five should be zero there you go so this a uh, short example uh two examples give you the understanding of how you can actually use output uh shape to may uh, evaluate expressions and also it uh shows you how to use variables uh, in flow Word. and i'm gonna save it and put it up online Thanks for watching.